Now, if I were to stand in front of the camera and tell you how comfy these were, you would probably think, hmm, which one of these companies is paying him the most? So let's ask some of my volleyball friends. I covered up the brand names to give all pads a fair chance, as some of these pads range from $50 up to $300. Let's see what they say. That one? You got that one? Okay. That's cool. <laughs> that one there? Yeah. All right. What about you? Number two. You want number two better? Yeah. Okay. You like that one? Okay. Nice. That one? That one there? Okay. Last but not least, we'll ask my avid backpacker neighbor who had this to say. So this one, this one would be my first choice. Feels like the highest quality, really uh, good support, no hip penetration as you're rolling and spinning. To wrap up the comfy test, both the X-Bed and the Thermarest kept me off the ground when placing all my weight on the knees. I felt the ground pretty good with the C to Summit and definitely felt it with the Climate Static. Let's find out how fast these guys dry on a sunny day in the middle of September in upstate New York with a temperature of 82 degrees, humidity 46%, wind out of the north-northwest at 5 miles per hour, dew point 56 degrees, and a sudden zenith angle of 143. Okay, I may have made some of that up. Well, it's been about 15 minutes. The first one to dry, which really dried at about 3 or 4 minutes, was the X-Ped. Next in line was the Neo Air Thermarest. And kind of a toss-up of the tie between the Static V and the sea to summit. So, on to the next test. <laughs> How strong are these? One would say they are pit bull proof, and I would tend to agree with them. Since my dog wasn't able to do the trick, how about this pile of rocks, sticks, logs, dirt, hell, and damnation? And if that's not enough, let's add 500 pounds of pea gravel and let's sit for two hours. I have to admit, I was expecting to come out and find some deflated pads, but all passed. So let's take it up a notch. I'll admit, this is a little ridiculous, but we test gear to the breaking point. X-Pad was the first and experienced the most damage. It was the only one that tore down the sea. This was one of the smallest of the five tears. Thermarest offered a fun ride down, almost as fun as winter sledding, and had one small tear. Sea to Summit slid the best, as if that matters, and had about a half inch tear. Here's some of the insulation in case you were wondering what it looked like. I'll go ahead and tuck that back in there. Finally, the climate, which also tore about an inch and a half. Lucky for me, all pads come with a repair kit. It wasn't until I patched up the holes that I realized all the damage to the X-Bed, which totaled about five holes. Thermarest, Sea to Summit, and Climate all had the one hole previously shown. To test my patch job, let's add 150 pounds of pea gravel and let's stand for two hours. But before I do, and for good measure, I'll hop on two for a total combined weight of 320 pounds. X-Ped was flatter than flat after two hours, while the other three didn't lose any air. Fire test. Sometimes you sleep next to a fire, so let's see what would happen if a rogue ember made its way over. X-Pad burned the most with about 4-5 to five small holes. Thermarest almost popped. If you look closely, you can see how it started to bubble but didn't go all the way through. No holes for the Thermarest. Sea to Summit had about 5-6 to six small holes, which if you rubbed your hand on it you could fill them, as they are difficult to see. And finally, Climate Static V, which had about 1-2 to two small holes. Hey guys, thanks for watching.